Leviticus 11 Foods Permitted and Forbidden Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying to them, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, These are the animals which you may eat among all the animals that are on the earth. Among the animals, whatever divides the hoof, having cloven hoops, and chewing the cud, that you may eat. Nevertheless, these you shall not eat among those that chew the cud, or those that have cloven hoops. The camel, because it chews the cud, but does not have cloven hoops, is unclean to you. The rock hyrax, because it chews the cord but does not have cloven hoops, is unclean to you. The hare, because it chews the cord but does not have cloven hoops, is unclean to you. And the swine, though it divides the hoof, having cloven hoops, yet does not chew the cord, is unclean to you. Their flesh you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch. They are unclean to you. This you may eat of all that are in the water. Whatever in the water has fins and scales, whether in the seas or in the rivers, that you may eat. But all in the seas or in the rivers that do not have fins and scales, all that move in the water or any living thing, which is in the water, they are an abomination to you. They shall be an abomination to you. You shall not eat their flesh, but you shall disregard their carcasses as an abomination. Whatever in the water does not have fins or scales, that shall be an abomination to you. And this you shall regard as an abomination among the birds, they shall not be eaten. They are an abomination, the eagle, the vulture, the buzzard, the kite, and the falcon after its kind. Every raven after its kind, the ostrich, the sword-eared owl, the seagull, and the hawk after its kind, the little owl, the fisher owl, and the screech owl, the white owl, the jackdaw, and the carrion vulture the stork, the heron after its kind, the hoppo and the bat. All flying insects that creep on all fours shall be an abomination to you. Yet this you may eat of every flying insect that creeps on all fours. Those which have join, jointed legs above their feet with which to leap on the earth. This may you eat the locust after its kinds, the destroying locust after its kinds, the cricket after its kind, and the grasshopper after its kind. But all other flying insects which have four feet shall be an abomination to you. Unclean animals. By this you shall become unclean. Whoever touches the carcass of any of them shall be unclean until evening. Whoever carries part of the carcass of any of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. The carcass of any animal which divides the foot but is not cloven hoofed or does not chew the cord is unclean to you. Everyone who touches it shall be unclean. And whatever goes on its paws among all kinds of animals that go on all fours, those are unclean to you. Whoever touches any such carcass shall be unclean until evening. Whoever carries any such carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. It is unclean to you. These also shall be unclean to you among the creeping things that creep on the earth, the mole, the mouse, and the large lizard, and after its kind. The gecko, the monitor lizard, the sand reptile, 
the sand lizard and the cameloin. These are unclean to you among all that creep. Whoever touches them when they are dead shall be unclean until evening. Anything on which any of them falls when they are dead shall be unclean. Whether it is any item of wood or clothing or skin or sack, whatever item it is in which any work is done, it must be put in water, and it shall be unclean until evening, then it shall be clean. Any earthen vessel into which any of them falls, you shall break, and whatever is in it shall be unclean. In such a vessel, any edible food upon which water falls becomes unclean, and any drink that may be drunk for it becomes unclean, and everything on which a part of any such carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether it is an oven or cooking stove, it shall be broken down, for they are unclean, and shall be unclean to you. Nevertheless, a spring or a cistern in which there is plenty of water shall be unclean. But whatever touches any such carcass becomes unclean, and if a part of any such carcass falls on any planting seed which is to be sown, it remains clean. But if water is put on the seed, and if a part of any such carcass falls on it, it becomes unclean to you. And if any animal which you may eat dies, he who touches its carcass shall be unclean until evening. He who eats of its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. He also who carries its carcass shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. And every creeping thing that creeps on the earth shall be an abomination, it shall not be eaten. Whatever crawls on its belly, whatever goes on all fours, or whatever has many feet among all creeping things that creep on the earth, these you shall not eat, for they are an abomination. You shall not make yourself abominable with any creeping thing that creeps, nor shall you make yourselves unclean with them, lest you be defiled by them. For I am the Lord your God. You shall therefore consecrate yourselves, and you shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall you defile yourselves with any creeping thing that creeps on the earth. For I am the Lord who brings you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the animals and the birds and every living creature that moves in the water and of every creature that creeps on the earth to distinguish between the unclean and the clean and between the animal that may be eaten and the animal that not be eaten. <laughs>